Hey guys, so today we are making rustic chocolate. This recipe has been around in for generations. I learned how to make this while I was away in El Salvador on vacation. Let's go find the cacao tree. Can I lead the way? There we go. We are visiting sunny, hot El Salvador today and we are at my mom's farm. They happen to grow these all these amazing things. They have vanilla, they have so much fruit and most of all, we have a lot of coffee. But today we found something super special which is... We found a cacao tree with the yes. fruits and inside the fruits are the beans which make chocolate. Yes, we found a cacao plant and I found one of the local ladies here. She's being nice enough to teach me how to make cacao beans into chocolate. So we're gonna go through the process of that today. How do you think this is gonna taste? The fruit tastes very good. I'm not sure how the chocolate's gonna taste. Okay, so the first thing we did was going through Tancho, who is the lady who's helping me, we went through her stash of dry cocoa beans. She had been drying them for a few weeks already, and we selected the ones that looked the driest. They do not smell like chocolate at all yet. And then I was invited into her house, into her kitchen, to cook these, well, pretty much roast these beans. And the way we did them is on a comal, which is this big stone, platter that goes over the fire and with a really heavy cast iron spatula almost we move them around and waited for them to start heating up and they start crackling she actually let me give this a try so I think the hardest part of this was transferring all the beans onto a pan so that we can let them cool off a little bit Once they were cooled to the touch, we started peeling them. It took us a good amount of time. We are making about a pound, a little bit over a pound of beans, and it, it actually took us more than half an hour to peel these beans. All right, so now that our beans are peeled, we are going to mix them with a lot of sugar. So I have a little bit over a pound of beans and each bag I add is a pound of sugar. I ended up, we ended up adding four pounds of sugar. And then we added a little bit of water, which kind of went against everything I thought I knew about chocolate. I was always told that chocolate and water doesn't mix, but that's the way they do it here and it works. So we're not gonna mess with an old recipe. All right, next step is we walked across town to the mill. So we are actually now pouring all of our mixture of sugar, beans, and water into this bucket. This is, I don't know how mills usually look, but this looks to me like a very old school mill. I can imagine that's how most mills used to look, I don't know, hundreds of years ago. All right, with a big stick, we are pressing down, making sure that all of the chocolate goes through and it is coming out on the other side as a very hot paste. This is where I had to give Olivia my camera so the video is a little funny. Well, this was quite an experience. It was, everybody was telling me to be careful with the belts because they can really hurt my arm if I touch them. And the lady next to me was grinding beans i guess she was gonna make refried beans and it was so hot and wearing the mask it was kind of a very intense experience but totally worth it and fun at the same time all right now we make sure we get all of the chocolate out of the bucket of the mill so that we can take all of it home and that's it we paid our 40 cents and said goodbye all right so we have the chocolate that we made, and we're going to try it. huge tub of chocolate. Check this out. It is all chocolate, and it's heavy. I mean, seriously, this must be like three pounds of homemade chocolate. We're going to try it. Ready? It's 
too bitter. I don't no? like it. Why not? It's too bitter. It's not sweet. It's very sweet. Not to me. We put four pounds of sugar in there. I have a sweet tooth. It's not sweet enough for my tooth. Mmm. I can eat the whole thing. Okay. It's got a very different taste from the one that we're, I'm used to. It is not... It's very bitter and I do not enjoy that. Well, it has no milk. It is just pure cacao and sugar. And it is. it has this really beautiful flavor from the comale and the, the stone in which it was cooked with fire. So that's it, the rustic chocolate. Unfortunately, to be honest with you guys, I got so excited and this was so delicious that I ate, I ate so much of that chocolate the day I made it. The plan was I was gonna take it home and I was gonna make little chocolate and I got to do that a little bit, but honestly, just looking at the chocolate was giving me a stomach ache because I really must have eaten like two pounds of chocolate right off the mill, so. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys ever tried doing something like this, I'd love to hear about it and see uh, different ways. I'd love to hear different ways of making rustic chocolate. So thanks for watching. Bye.